Yeah. She can spill everything. So yes. Yes. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. That was a really stupid joke. <laughs> spill it. <laughs> I'm tired. Hello. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. How are you guys enjoying Comic-Con? Uh, we're enjoying so it. Good. So good. awesome. How are you enjoying it? It's fun. Yeah? You I look a little tired. I, I am a little tired, but yeah. like, I've also been doing like fans stuff, too. Oh, so. cool. So you're yeah. doing both sides. That's yeah. awesome. That's the way I to do to. it. <laughs> yeah. Work with pleasure. Yeah. Can you, can you talk a little bit about what we I heard about the clip that from the panel about the attack? Um, like, what I, does she kind of think when she's breaking out and taking someone as the series has progressed she's gone through this crazy moral you know she's had these moral dilemmas like you know it's it's really hard for her having to make these decisions like in episode 11 where she and she kills the, the grounder to get out of that, that cell and um, she's just in, in warrior mode you know she, she needs to find her friends it comes from a good place but she's willing to do whatever it takes to find them and, uh, it was it was crazy to shoot it was a really fun really fun yeah. so would you say both of your characters get a little bit more cutthroat in season Absolutely, two yeah. I'd, I'd say it'd be a little bit different for Raven <clears throat> she um, I think she started out pretty kind of cutthroat, or not cutthroat, but just intense, feral, I would say. She already didn't have a lot of friends, she didn't have much family, just her and Finn. She's very kind of mistrusting of others, and just very independent, you know, she learned from a young age to not need anyone, to not want anyone, and, you know, screw everyone else. And the hundred, I think, has taught her, actually, that she does need people, and she needs love, and she needs connection, and she cannot survive all on her own. So I think you see Raven really struggle and be vulnerable and have to open up for her way to survive. And that's, her survival is um, by the way of friends and pe the people in her new life now. So I think it's almost a little bit opposite for Raven. But even that's an interesting kind of sh strength she develops. So we know that she survives because you've been made series regular. Nope, you're I'm dead. Of course, yeah. for a whole season. Could you imagine? <laughs> series regular. But I'm dead. Next, yeah. The first Flash episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, hey, you never know. So is she in hot weather? Is that where we'll find her? I can't tell you that. I, I can't know, say that. I don't know if we can. Yeah. I don't know if we can. I'm going to say... Yeah, if, say. if Jason didn't mention it, then we can't. Then can. we, we can't. We definitely, we <laughs> definitely can't mention it. Jason told us that Raven is in Mount Weather. <laughs> <laughs> can you confirm that? Yes. 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 If that's yes. what he said, yeah. Yes. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. yep. We're going with that. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever Jason said. So, um, now that Abby is in, like, all the stickers. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's dope. Oh, that's really nice. great. <laughs> Sexy time. All right. It's five o'clock. Drinks. Drinks. <laughs> Drinks. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. 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 <laughs> Now that like all the art people are down on land, and we we know that Raven and Abby had a really good relationship, are we going to see any more of that in season two of them meeting up, like possibly? I think um I think that's definitely something that should happen. I mean I don't know at this point, but I think that it is it is certainly owed um, to the story that that these people are reconnected. And I think it's, it's going to be really interesting to see how that, like, that dynamic. I mean, when the people on the Ark saw us last, we were kids, you know, we were scared kids. And now we're, like, we're, we're self-sufficient, kick-ass adults. And I think it's going to be a crazy sort of weird It's, it's an experience for the adults, you know. They yeah. have to see us in a new way. Yeah. And I think that's troubling for them it's 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 just like you know when you're as a parent your kids go to college and they come back and you're like who is this yeah this is like adult here and yeah like making these decisions living their life yeah you know you, yeah it's and they have to go through that but um a big a big theme of the second season is reunions mm -hmm. and um, unexpected ones and so um yeah i think you'll definitely get to see that dynamic play out definitely can you talk a little bit about Clark's reaction to seeing the painting of the Starry Night? Because in the pilot, mm. you know, she's drawing the Star. I mean, not yeah. the Starry Night, but she's drawing no, the Night. Not quite that good. And then she, um, 
know, you know did you see yeah. that picture? Yeah. Talk about, like, what do you think was kind of going through Clark's mind when she saw that? Well, I was, um, I played it a few different ways as we were, as we were shooting. One was that she saw a, a correlation between, between what she, her, like, um, uh, her, her drawing and her ideas and her thoughts and I think she finds it really mesmerizing in that way maybe thinking these people haven't you know they haven't seen the ground either and this is their interpretation um, also uh, I've, I've sort of played it as a um, as just I mean I, I'm trying to think like has she studied art before you know and has she seen this famous painting before and is she wondering like where the hell did these people get this who are they why why is it here so there's you know there are a few different on different takes I mean at the, at the end of the day it just ends up me going like <laughs> but these but are the things that are going so through my head <laughs> you bring so much more yeah but you think like, about it oh, this one thinks about it yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank okay. babe I know babe yeah you're fantastic <laughs> Don't let the blonde hair fool. Yeah. Pretty yeah. bad. Are you looking forward to the reunion between Clark and Abby? Hmm? Are you looking forward to the Clark and Abby reunion? I would like to see. I would definitely like to see that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think that there's so much to play there. Oh, God. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. a whole situation. Yeah, y'all got a lot to talk about. Yeah, totally. <laughs> well, and Raven and Abby, too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, totally. Yeah, but, true. I mean, as far as... Clark and Abby, so mm. much shit has gone down. Yeah. Like, mom and yeah. daughter got a lot to yeah. hash out. Killed my dad. Yeah, yeah. we gotta talk about that. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> Send me to my death on earth. We gotta talk about that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's what's happening. Did some hey, surgeries Jason. while you're gone. This happened last time we hey, did a round table, I think. Hey. We're having we just a party. Want to be a part of everything. Yes. We told, yeah. them, we told them everything. You just did, just like you said. Honesty is Follow our policy. Yeah. 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 I'm really done talking. I just want to listen. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Well, to bass. I think they gave us the wrap it up, but mm -hmm. like, get out of here. Okay, well, okay. we're done. I have one question. Yeah, left. let's do it's it. Just, um, kind of a fa as, as a fan of uh, Bell Arc, are we going to. Oh, I'm going to take my leave. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Jason loves when people he loves say when Bell Arc. Yeah. yeah. It's his favorite. Yeah. I know, I know. Mm. I was at a table when someone did, but are we going to see some of that kind of some stuff? Some of that sexy um, Well, I mean, we I don't, know, we don't even alive. know. We haven't found him. We don't know where he is yeah, he's or dead. if he's, he's alive. So, I'm look, I, I think that that is something that people saw in the show that we didn't necessarily write. I think that they saw a chemistry. And I feel like me and Bob definitely have a chemistry when we work together, for sure. And it's and I love working with him. But I do think that the story's steering away from romance and, and more into just, you know, survival, which is what it's really about. And we don't want to do that typical CW stuff. So we, want to, we want to think outside the box. So. Yeah. Maybe no Belloc for now. Besides. Sorry, guys. Tease them a little bit more. We want, we want you to really want it. Yeah, we give exactly. It to you. Do you really want Malark? Do you really? Thank you, Are you guys. Are you testing really? me right now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep thinking about it. <laughs> oh, we're leaving. More of you guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.